Good evening, it's my honour to tell you about North Brewing Company's Constellation. I'm a keen astronomer myself, so a beer that's named Constellation I really need to check out. I've heard good things about the brewery, the brewing company. I've heard good things about the beer. It's available in Asda's. I picked it up at £9 for four cans. £2.25 per can in Asda. And if this is as good as they say it is, it's nothing short of an absolute bargain. We'll see. It's a New England IPA coming in at a respectable, to say the least, 6.5%. It ticks that particular box. I've just had a couple of New England IPAs this evening. Had a can of the Stewart Brewing Company's New England IPA, which you can see the review I've put up. And this was the big beer that I was alluding to in that review. That it was supposed to be a special one and already that Stuart Brewing Company one is good but already this looks and smells in a different class I've just tipped out the sediment which has come out in a big dark grey blob which is a really good sign and that's what we get. This immediately reminds me of Brewdog versus Cloudwater's New England IPA. It looks almost exactly the same. And it smells. It smells similar. There is a difference between that and this. That was grapefruity this pineapple with grapefruit it is I'm, I'm expecting a juice bomb I really am just like that one we've got decent level of carbonation although I should really own up and admit that I really need these glasses when I'm looking at stuff close up because I can't see a thing Oh yeah, looks like grapefruit juice, pineapple juice, whatever you'd have with your breakfast. Which is exactly the same as what I got with the Brewdog versus Cloudwater. I didn't get that with the Stuart one earlier. And the Brewdog versus, I think it's Northern Monk that I had earlier. The session stuff is nowhere near like this. Heads dissipating because it's a strong brew, 6.5%. Shall we? You could help. beautiful it's absolutely brilliant six point five percent that's dangerous with the brew dog versus cloud water stuff you really did get a sense of the alcohol there was almost like even though it was grapefruity and slightly limey, there, there was almost like a tartness, a syrupness to, to it that after half a can, which I think I didn't mention it in my review, you really knew you were dealing with something strong, although it was delicious. This is even better again.
knowing my taste and knowing my journey on craft beer, that could be the best one that I've had so far. It's 6.5%. It's an absolute delight. It's a treat. It tastes of everything that I want it to taste of. It's smooth and creamy on the mouthfeel, but also it's carbonated, so it's got enough to push the citrusy fruits around. And now I'm getting a little bit of that booze in it. Just a little hint coming up long after I've taken a swig of it. It's got a fantastic edge. That citrusy edge. I'm almost talking, I'm talking about it backwards. From the boozy kick to the, the mouthfeel to the citrusy. Prior to that. It has a hint of kiwi fruit. It has a hint of grapefruit. It's pineapple. Touch of mango. But it's got a lovely citrusy edge. A lovely. There's so much going on here. It's with every breath you get a new flavour, but the other one's gone, so. It's not building up and they're not getting in each other's way. 2 pound 25 a can. Oh, bloody hell, that is delicious. I am sure you can go to a bottle shop and buy something but eight quid a can, nine quid a can, that you'll then say is even greater than this. That's absolutely fine. If I want to serve my friends at the level that, of so sophistication of drinking that they're at, if they're Carlsberg drinkers, Carlin drinkers, I'd get them on this. Um, via means of an entry-level New England IPA like Loch Lomond Zoom Time or that Stuart Brewing one or even the Aldi 10.4 New England IPA I'd chuck them in because that's kind of like it tastes the same and looks the same as this although it's a lot weaker this looks magnificent Yes, I'm a fan. I took it out the fridge um, a couple of hours ago, but I put it in the fridge in my motorhome where I am now. Even though the fridge isn't switched on, it's still quite cool. So it's taken the chill edge off it, and I'd highly recommend you do that. I wanna, I've got another one of these in there now. And if I'm going to have another one, I'm taking it out now so that it warms up enough that these stunning flavours come at me again. That is mind-blowingly good beer. It's been a while since I've had one. I haven't I haven't chased the mind glowing uh mind blowingly. I don't mind glowingly as well would fit. I haven't chased the mind-blowingly good beer for a while. I've gone out and I've been looking for bargains and I heard about this one. Four tins of it, nine quid. It's part of Asda's buy four, 
pay for three and get the cheapest free so three quid a tin anyway so four of these would be 12 quid which frankly you pay gladly but the fact you can pick it up for nine quid I've yet to have a beer better than that I've had more expensive beers than that they were nowhere near as good the tins of beer that you're getting in the Lidl beer festival are costing one pound seventy nine one pound fifty nine which is good value for some of them let's see if I can put that in there as well but I have to say for two pound twenty five per can or thereabouts two pound thirty if you're getting it free nine pound what's nine divided by four yeah two pound twenty five so you really cannot go wrong it's magnificent and I'll be going and buying a lot more of this the 6.5 percent is strong don't let it put you off it's not clouting me about the head I learned a while back that the ABV of beer is not a great way of judging it really because when you have beer like this you respect the ABV you're not gonna absolutely throw that down your neck you, you drink a couple quite quickly but even now the aftertaste is telling me be respectful take your time with with the rest of that you can drink the first part quickly and then it's like no less less amble here it deserves appreciation and it deserves your time your good health cheers <laughs>